you can uh, set up the marketing for the promotions. So, for example, we had the promotion there, which was sale, and that promotion uh, could have had a start date, an end date. Uh, it could the the promotion itself can be valid when the order reaches a uh, only reaches a minimum amount, above a minimum amount or it's a certain kind of number of uh, of products. And then you can add all sorts of rules to the promotion. So, for example, within a promotion, you can say, I only want it to be available for uh, products done by Canon. And I only want it to be available for a certain category of products or include products themselves or for different groups of customers or different, um, you can actually pick a customer, different customer groups or different expressions. Now, for the expressions, I'm not sure if we've got the enterprise version actually installed here. No, we haven't. So, but for the expressions, what I can do there, I can actually set up, I can invent my own expressions. So first I set up tags where these are, would be customer tags, not product tags. So I can say I want a tag of where my customer is coming from. Uh, I want to have a tag of whether my customer is male or female. I want to have a tag of, um, of what's the last searches that my customer did, which products is being viewing, and things like that. Then based on all of these different tags, which really identify how my customer is behaving, I can put them together in an expression, and I can say, okay, I want a promotion to be valid for customers which uh, come from Europe and customers that have placed an interest or have put this product into their wish list, and uh, they are female because it's, it's close to, or they're male because it's close to Mother's Day or something like that. And based on all of these factors, I can, have, uh, I can activate promotions and banners. And the banner can actually be put on, be managed by uh, .CMS at that point. So that's kind of the, the marketing uh, subsystem we've got with expressions. Then we've got a way also of sending, um, this has changed a bit in the next part, we, we've made it a bit more sophisticated, but you can pick out, you can pick out velocity templates for newsletters and you can send the templates, uh, you can actually add text if, if your template will allow it, and you can send it to a certain range of customers, customers that have signed up for the newsletter, customers that want to be notified about um, a certain product, customers belonging to a certain group or customers belonging to certain expressions, which are the things that I mentioned before. So you can uh, uh, you know, send mails and send uh, product notifications to these, um, to these people filtered by not only who they are, but also what they've been doing. So the idea there is if somebody uh, hasn't, if he's a registered customer, but he hasn't been to your website for a while, and you know, he hasn't been there for a month, and all of a sudden he comes in and he starts looking at a certain product, then you could send him a, a mail saying, oh, that product's on sale, and just to try to get him in and buy it. Uh, these are all, we, we integrate with, uh, at the moment we can integrate really with any reporting system. Uh, the one that we, you can download us with is BERT Reports, which is an open source reporting system, but really any type of reports will work uh, with Kona cards. And let me see now, uh, customers, you, well, probably all customers, these are, we haven't got many here, but really for each customer, you can do the, the standard um, kind of editing of the customers. Again, we do have customer tags here with the enterprise version, but you can edit their addresses on, this is on the admin side. Obviously, a, a customer can edit his own, his own data. And orders, in terms of uh, orders, if you want to look at the invoice of an order, or you just want to edit the order itself, you can see from here, you can actually change the state of the order. You can, if the screen is, is um, if you've got the permissions to do it, you can actually enter credit card details or edit credit card details for customers. This is all role-based, by the way, the admin app. So it's all based on different roles. If I log in, uh, depending, the role will no, uh, identify what I can actually do. Just a quick Thank question, if I can, if I may interrupt you. Sure. Uh, is it possible to make uh, configurable products 
uh, in Kona card, which means that you basically create um, properties for products and can you define these properties for different products? So, uh, by configurable you mean what I, to give me an example, for example a configurable product would be what I showed before, a graphics card, you can have four megabytes of memory or eight megabytes of memory, you can have the premium exactly. solution, the non, yeah, sure, that's, uh, uh, so let me show you, what I showed you, I probably went through this a bit too quickly, but um, if I look at this Matrox product, the so G200, for example, then we'll go and look at it in the demo. Mm -hmm. And we look at the G200, and we look at the attributes. It's got, you can define uh, different types of attributes, memory, on Chrome, actually, there's a bit of a problem because this, sh this should all be indented. <laughs> uh, so, but I've got memory, so I've got 4 megabytes, 8 megabytes, 16 megabytes, 32 megabytes. And, for example, you know, what I do, I've got the 4 megabytes, I say I want it on there, and I can give it, I can say 4 megabytes is actually the same price. So I can say it's, you know, $30 more if... Um, if somebody wants a 4 megabyte version, if they want the 8 megabyte version is $50 more, if they want the 16 megabyte version is $70 more. And then you can have different things. You can have like the model, different value model, a premium model. I could have, you know, all sorts. I could configure a computer. I could say, you know, I want big monitor, small monitor. I want uh, the different types of CPUs. I won't want to have four USBs, three USBs. So basically I set up all of my uh, product options. So, uh, May I, I can you, find but sure. you have no rules, I think. Huh? This is just something um, simple configuration where it is, it's no, not rule based. By rule think. based, what do you mean? You mean, so depending on your configuration, say a typical con piece for con to configure is, a, is an op say, a notebook or, or, a, or a PC. Say the customer can select his uh, the type of of hard disk, and depending if it's it, it's CASI or or SATA, he has to define the, the controller, or or he can select a, a memory uh, a system board, and depe depending on that, he can select just some processes and so on. I think so. We, there must be behind all the selection a rule: what is allowed and what not. Okay, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that if depending on kind of a previous choice he made, that yes. can affect kind of future choices. Correct. So, yeah, there's no way uh, at the moment, you're right, there's inside kind of the standard Kona card, there's, you, you can actually put in, uh, in the UI, you know, somebody could, could, uh, could choose whatever combinations, combinations he wants. Obviously, you could put in some of your own uh, code to do that if, if you wanted to, but it, it, it can't be, you can't really configure these rules directly from the admin app. So what is, I also, is it also possible to combine two products to a single new product? Yeah, that yeah. that's uh, that's that's what we call. Let me just log out of this. That's what we call the bundle product. So inside uh, a product, that we've got, for example, this product. If I wanted to, at the moment, it's just kind of a physical product. I could say that it's uh, a bundle product. And in this case, what I can do, I can actually select the products that I want uh, w within my bundle. So, I, you know, I want this, this, or whatever. So then what, it, what happens, it becomes uh, a bundle, and I can change the price. I can, we can calculate the price, but normally somebody would uh, charge less for that. I think within the demo itself, We've already got one, one set up, which I think it's this one. Yeah, we call it Bundle Saver. It's actually what we've done. We've just put two of the products together. We've bundled them. And, uh, and in reality, this becomes, as far as within Kona Kart, it becomes, a, it can be a separate product with a separate SKU. But in reality, we know that it, it, um, it consists of the two uh, products. So when you're doing kind of stock calculations, and it it won't be said to be in stock if any one of the two or three or four products themselves are actually out of stock. 